Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Tuesday, May 28th, 2019. But keep in mind that even though this is dated for May 28th for organizational purposes, ultimately, all of these readings are timeless, okay? So whenever you are guided to check in and hear it, and whenever it resonates for you, that's when the message is meant for you to hear it. Yes? Also, this is general, okay? So we're not talking about love, career, or any signs specifically. We're just talking about whatever it is Spirit wants to discuss with us today. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend, um, a fantastic Memorial Day, and that you are recovering fairly well. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> All right, guys, let's just get to it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Tuesday, May 28th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, two things. One, you're probably gonna hear a good amount of noise coming from the street. Um, you can probably hear all the birds already, but I do have my window open, so, um, and I kind of need to keep it open right now. So that's that's what's going on there. If it becomes too much, then don't worry, then I'll close it. Okay, so, as far as channeling goes, I was seeing yellow first, and that was speaking to illumination, clarity, understanding. I'm hearing deep insight. Somebody's getting some, somebody or some people are gaining some deep insight. Um, I'm hearing into their character, into the way, their way of life, um, into how they have been presenting themselves. Now, keep in mind, this doesn't mean that anything is really going to change right away or all that quickly so if this is you if this is something you're dealing with um keep in mind and please understand spirit is saying to you that in no way do you have to make any sort of drastic changes right away that's not the way this works um but what's happening is there is some sort of deep clarity deep insight or illumination or understanding with this yellow color about willpower uh, ways of being i'm hearing specifically um, character attributes how you're showing yourself how you're presenting yourself how people see you even though other people's opinions you know are just that their opinion um it's more a matter of how you present yourself that helps to generate the view of others towards you how people perceive you which is then leading to green which is a heart chakra color um, and I'm hearing deep heart healing heart cleansing and so on that would come from this type of illumination clarity understanding I'm hearing about really about how you show up in the world and how you present yourself and how other people perceive you and that Last shuffle here, and then we'll get into it. Let me sip some coffee first. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, let's see what we've got for today. the deck let me make sure nothing yeah nothing flipped over or at least i don't think anything did all right underneath the deck at the bottom of the deck here we do have the two of pentacles um we have a good amount of cards here but so saving face 
um, is what I'm getting with this Two of Pentacles, trying to keep some sort of balance. Um, okay, so with the yellow color that was coming through before, the Two of Pentacles is now speaking to trying to keep up appearance in some way that doesn't make someone look like a complete and total, 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 I don't even want to... I don't even want to say that word, those words, I'm stumbling on them, but I'm going to go ahead and say it because that's how I heard it. Um, other than showing up or being perceived as a complete and total failure. Now, take that with a grain of salt, please, because there really is no failure. Failure is a part of the dual, duality or dichotomous, dualistic um, reality that we live in okay you either win or you lose you pass you fail and in spiritual truth it really doesn't work that way it's all a process of becoming a process of expanding and awakening and once you become aware of something that needs to be changed or can be done or needs to be done differently and the only one the only person that can define that for you would be yourself or god right um but once it's defined, once it's understood, then a change can be made and momentum can be built in the direction of achieving that which you have perceived to have failed to achieve, per, uh, excuse me, to achieve <laughs> in the past, okay? So with the Two of Pentacles here, the overall energy is trying to stay stable, trying to keep your stability, maybe trying to keep up appearance. You might be in between cycles you might be in between phases right now where you're you know you're realizing things that have been done in the past that could be different or could have led could be done differently can be done differently or have led you to where you currently are but that's okay because now you have the wisdom you have the knowledge of not only what it is that led you there but all the experience you've had you had in between in between there right some of you are juggling. Some of you are trying to, like I said, save face, keep up appearance, make it seem like everything's okay when in turn, it, 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 when in reality it may not be, or at least it might be okay. It just may not be ideal for you, what you had expected, what you had wanted, all that good stuff. Okay. Yes. Wow. Yeah. All right. Cool. Five of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Oh, the Nine of Swords. With the King of Cups here. Oh. And the High Priestess, though. Ooh. Okay. Justice, King of Cups, Shadow Work. Wow. And then finally, at the bottom here, we have the Two of Wands and the High Priestess. Whoops. Whoa. That High Priestess, man. She's, um... Interesting. She came out. She came out upside down, face down, and then she just kind of like ran off the table. Um, but I'm hearing clarity has set in. It's like there are no more secrets, at least for yourself. Maybe not with others, but it, but you or this person that you're dealing with here, they're pretty clear on something. They are very, very clear on something. Okay, so what I'm getting here, we're going to start with the Five of Pentacles, the top, the top row. Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Nine of Swords. There is some sort of energy of rejection. It's fear-based, I'm hearing. Um, feeling left out in the cold, feeling inadequate, um, insecurities, self-conscious. Um, I just heard self-centered also. But maybe what you're dealing with, or this person is dealing with, um, maybe some of the things that you're dealing with now that, that are like, like are rearing their ugly heads has to do with some sort of selfishness or self-centered behavior um, up until now, up until this point where something is kind of being realized here. Okay, Five of Pentacles with the Five of Cups, regret, remorse, shame. Um, I'm going to be quite honest with you guys. The Five of Cups being here is a really good thing. Is a really good thing. Because ultimately, normally this this deck or this card is depicted as 
three cups still standing with two have being spilt have have having been spilt there we go and um often whatever was spilled from those three cups was toxic okay and not good for you and you're left with two cups of positivity the worst is not or the the, the um all is not lost okay is a is a strong key phrase with the five of cups also potentially crying over spilled milk but that can come across a little derogatory because it's not like and insulting it's not like um you have no reason to feel your feelings as to whatever has been lost if it's something that you really, really held dear to you regardless of the reasons why you may have held it dear to yourself okay but this is a good thing because ultimately there's some sort of toxicity here that's being purged obviously you can see once we get down to the second row but this five of cups here and also the five of pentacles i'm not gonna lie the two of these cards here five of pentacles five of cups these two energies are actually really good because someone is realizing starting some okay someone's mm, sorry guys garbage truck Someone is really starting to re recognize, or, ooh, 11-11. Someone is starting to recognize or realize the error of their ways. And this Five of Cups energy does say that it's not like you can't come back from this. I'm hearing certain reputations don't have to last forever. However, if you wish to change or adjust the way you are perceived by people, then you need to adjust or change the way you show up. You have to act differently. You can't act the same old way or give off the same types of energy and expect people to see you differently, okay? Closing out this top row here, you have the Nine of Swords. So, the, this is the other reason why I really feel like these two cards here are a good thing. The Five of Pentacles, the Five of Cups. First of all, fives are, num are cards of change, okay? But yes, there is struggle in that change, but it's still a change nonetheless. And then you have the Nine of Swords. That is fear, anxiety, uh, worst case scenarios, um, self-fulfilling prophecies. There is an energy of, some for someone out there, this, this might be really specific, but there's an energy of someone out there being ashamed of their past actions um, and how they've presented themselves, who they've become, who they now know themselves to be, and like they're not really that happy about it. Um, but also a feeling of like all is lost, like things were doomed before they even started. And that's not entirely true. And that's when we get into the second row here. You have Justice, King of Cups, shadow work now shadow work is a unique card in this deck it obviously talks about none other than doing your shadow work someone here may be in a bit of a dark night of the soul energy um a dark night of the soul being a period or a phase in your life where you are faced with some really deep dark shit like you're each time you enter a dark night of the soul cycle you are <laughs> soul cycle <laughs> you, you are going deeper into yourself and excavating clearing out it's often really rough very emotional very hurtful um, but it's actually one of the most cleansing and clearing phases you can go through which naturally would make it fairly tough because like i said you're going down into the depths of yourself and excavating okay now we could potentially be talking about a scorpio or another water sign cancer pisces we could also be talking about a libra however you don't have to we don't have to be talking about that this is a general reading so keeping in that vein you could be talking about a masculine energy or you could be talking about your own inner masculine energy with this king of cups here but ultimately 
this I am seeing I am seeing someone who is in love with someone um, and that could be a reason as to why this is happening this could be a reason as to why this person is feeling five of pentacles five of cups left out in the cold rejected not good enough um, and thus feeling shame oh okay that's what I just heard um, now also what I'm getting with this this these energies of rejection or not feeling good enough this feels like it stems from childhood. It doesn't feel like it's something new to this person. It feels like this is something they've dealt with for a long time and they've gotten to the point where they've figured out how they can keep themselves from feeling like that any longer, um, alleviate that energy. But it came with, you know, a hefty amount of selfishness, egotistic, egotism, uh, self-centeredness, and all that kind of stuff. But ultimately, it's okay. So, in this in this situation here, this person or the masculine energy within you is literally facing justice. But it's it's not it's not. The universe wants me to make it very clear to whoever this is resonating with. You are not being faced with this justice just because we're spiteful or we're trying to get back at you. No. The reason why you are facing this justice here, okay, is so that you can start doing the shadow work and clearing away all these things that are blocking your path. So ultimately, yeah, this might suck right now. It really might suck right now. But, and it might feel like whatever regret, remorse, shame, guilt, rejection, depletion I just heard, that you're feeling, any of these energies that you're feeling here that have got you all up in your head thinking that all is lost and that everything has just gone to shit and it's never gonna, it's never gonna be healed and it's never going to be better again and you're never going to have another chance and it, you, you you know you you blew it before you even tried blah 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 whatnot whatever no you might think that's the justice that you're facing right now but ultimately the true justice is getting through all of this and doing your shadow work okay that is beautiful Uh, I don't know why I'm feeling compelled to say this, and I don't know why I'm feeling compelled to say I don't know why. Of course I know why. I'm channeling for you guys, but I don't know the specifics of this situation that I'm getting this message for. But somebody needs to hear that. Damn it, I lost it. <laughs> oh, there it is. Um, if you wish to be a part of someone's life, then you've got to step up and be that element for yourself first. If you really want to be a part of someone's life, if you really want to feel loved, cherished, accepted, honored, then you need to do that for yourself first. If there's someone around you that gives off that energy, they didn't come at it easily, come about it easily. They they worked hard for it. And I mean, if they, if they like really legitimately have that energy, if they can carry that energy without needing that validation from others around them, obviously they have that validation within themselves, but that means that they did the work for it. So if you are connecting with someone like that, that you have deep feelings for, King of Cups, and you would like to explore more, you would like to get to know this person, you might wanna date them, you might, whatever, you might you want to add them to your friend circle whatever however that resonates for you then you have to trust and do that work for yourself too to get yourself to that level because that could be why this person is kind of like mm, mm, right so literally all is not lost and that brings us to the last part here two of wands high priestess now the high priestess was running away she was face down and then she kind of like ran off the table. 
to me that's saying that there's some sort of indecision that's becoming clear. Secrets have been, been revealed. Higher divine wisdom is being downloaded and it's allowing someone to make a decision as to where they want to go, which direction they want to continue in in their lives, which direction they actually want to pursue in their lives to take seriously. So for some of you, this could lead to marriage. Now, this could be the person that's going through this cleansing, this, this um, shadow work here, this King of Cups energy. Ultimately, later, I'm not saying anytime soon, but what Spirit is saying is this is the type of work, the type of cleansing, clearing, and healing that could ultimately lead you to a marriage or a committed, solid, stable relationship, which is what I think you want. Anyway, you've just been hiding that from yourself, maybe even lying to yourself. There could have been some sort of um, heteronormative stereotypes or twisted masculine energy, regardless of whether you are a man or a woman. We're talking energy here. We're not talking physical gender. Um, but there could have been some sort of twisted masculine and twist, twisted masculinity, heteronormative standards that have kept you from honoring this part of yourself, which in reality, only kept that cycle of feeling rejected alive. But someone really has learned that or is starting to learn that, is starting to see that, the high priestess, okay? And a decision is being made. Uh, which path to go, take, which way, to, which direction to move in, that sort of thing. All right, guys? Okie dokie. So now I'm gonna get into the clarifiers. We'll see what we have here. We're gonna start with the Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Nine of Swords. Let's get a little bit more. Let's get a little bit more clarity here. Um, understanding what this energy, this rejection, this guilt, this remorse, Nine of Swords, and the self-fulfilling prophecy that potentially could come of it if you continue to allow yourself to believe that all is lost. The sky is not falling, chicken little. But you need to take action. And this is like what I said earlier. If you have a certain reputation, if people know you in a certain way or see you, perceive you in a certain way, that's, that doesn't have to last forever. But the only thing that's going to help that, or that is going to change that is you changing how you show up, you changing how you present yourself, you changing the actions that you take, the behaviors that you exhibit, right? You have to be, you have to show people differently, but also you've got to show yourself differently. Again, all of this comes from within, all of this starts within, if you want to receive a certain amount of energy, you have to start giving it to yourself first. So if you don't want to feel rejected any longer, then you need to start acting as if you accept yourself and all parts of yourself for who you are and what you are and not let anyone tell you that it's wrong or bad. Ultimately, you are who you are. You are who you are meant to be. And that is what this shadow work represents for you, can bring about for you, can help you with, all right? Let's get one more shuffle. And then we'll see the clarifiers for now. Here we go. Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Nine of Swords. Just some clarity, please, Spirit. Clarity on this energy here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah, good. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. Excellent. So this is inspiration. This is seeing something new. This is trying something new. This is seeing a new, a brand new day. Okay. This is literally the catalyst. These energies here is the kick in the ass for you to start doing some work. Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, this is good. The Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles is talking about doing the work to set yourself up to be ready to receive. 
to be whole and full and loving yourself, knowing exactly what you're worth, not feeling self-confident, or, or I'm sorry, self-conscious any longer, not feeling rejected. And when you're standing in the nine of pentacles energy, nobody can reject you. Or at least, yeah, people will reject you, maybe certain, like you, whatever, but it doesn't affect you. It doesn't bother you because you know exactly what you're worth. This is doing that work to get there. Okay, you have the six of pentacles, which is the balance of give and take. Ah, you have the four of cups, seven of swords. Well, that's interesting. Interesting. The four of cups and the seven of swords. I'm feeling a very interesting energy here. Um, it's as if somebody was, somebody has been in this cycle of perpetually feeling unrequited love or whatnot, or there could have been a situation from your past or this person's past that was super, super traumatic. It was like the first time they were rejected or you know, they fell for someone, but the other person didn't feel the same way, and it created this really nasty, toxic, narcissistic cycle. And in order to cover up these feelings of this Four of Cups energy here, they became deceptive. Seven of Swords. You or they. All right, and then you have the Seven of uh, Wands here on the Nine of Swords. We'll get to that in a second. Mmm, very interesting. Also here, you have the Page of Cups in reverse with the Knight of Pentacles. So to me, this is leaving behind, yes, this is leaving behind some sort of emotional immaturity and slowly working your way, building yourself up, Archangel Michael, slowly building yourself up towards a greater sense of balance and emotional maturity. Seven of Wands here on the Nine of Swords is talking about needing to have boundaries, needing to defend yourself, block out all of these energies that make you feel fearful, fear shame, like it's never gonna work out, blah, 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 it's never gonna change, it's never gonna happen. Don't allow yourself to sink into that. Recognize the current challenges for what they are, a way for you to heal, grow, and do the work that you need to do to be able to receive that which you truly desire and what you're deserving of, what you're rightfully entitled to. I, I say that word lightly, but we're all entitled to what we, what's meant for us. The only thing that would stand in our way is our own beliefs about ourselves. Nine of Swords. But with the Seven of Wands here, don't allow that to stop you any longer. But you still have to do work. You still have to do that shadow work. Okay, so let's get some clarity on that too. Justice, King of Cups, shadow work, please spirit. Just some clarity, deeper understanding. You know what, actually, I wanna do this. I wanna combine these two. Justice, King of Cups, shadow work. That's spirits leading me towards that with High Priestess and the Two of Wands. Okay, yes. Clarity, please, spirit. Okay. Well, oh, there we go. <laughs> One card. Ah, <laughs> the world. With the hanged man, huh, in reverse here. Ooh, and the night. Ooh, okay. Um, so the hanged man is here. It is reversed. Um, and this is left over from me doing readings on Sunday at my, at our, uh, we had a, we had a, um, a Memorial Day party in my backyard and I was doing some readings. Um, normally my cards, I don't, I don't read reversals. And this one is in here reversed. Anyway, I'm going to take it this way. This is good, this is very good. And underneath that, you have the Nine of Cups, and underneath that, you have the Knight of Cups, okay? Um, so the Hanged Man in Reverse is about uh, reaching some sort of clarity, 
seeing something differently, having gained that different perspective. Now, that's kind of the same thing that I was getting with this high priestess energy when she came out face down, but then also when she tried to like run away, she was like, no, there are no more secrets here. It's been revealed. Somebody gets it. Somebody gets it. The hanged man. Now, this is excellent. This is so good, you guys. For whoever this is, this is really, really great because now you're wiser. Your eyes have been opened. Boop. You see it now. You see it for what it really is. And you kind of, now you're starting to get it. Okay, so this is allowing you to close out this cycle. You do have to do the shadow work. Okay, so recognizing it was the easy part. Now you got to do the work to fix it, to heal it. And we're not talking about doing all this shit on the outside, on the external, you know, bending over backwards to try and, you know, make things right, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. We're talking about doing the internal work to build up your self-confidence so that you don't have to be living or acting from this fearful, shameful, scared place of rejection and emotional immaturity, really. Now you can build, up, build yourself up so that you can be the powerful, confident person that you know yourself to be or that you've always known yourself to be or that you've always wanted to be. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, that's excellent. So now we're gonna close out the reading with a card from, a message from the Crystal Mandala deck. Closing message for today's reading. All right, here we go. For today, Tuesday, May 28th. Closing message, please, Spirit. There it is. Sorry, guys, I had to pause for a second. Ah, very nice. Very, very nice. So we have card number 13, Archangel Adnashio and Tiger's Eye. Tiger Spirit Rises. This is beautiful. Oops. And 13 is the number, is the, the 13th card in the Major Arcana is Death. 13 symbolizes change. Transformation. Beautiful. We bring you the gift of the tiger spirit rising. You are being empowered with a truth more potent than fear. Your spirit is rapidly expanding beyond what option and logic can contain. It needs to be free to run wild with divine grace in the world. Your life, your destiny, your divine fulfillment requires that you have the courage to roar for love, to refuse to be put down, to respect yourself, and to let your untamed, loving heart be free. Your spirit creates a field of divine electricity through your body and mind that can liberate others from conformity and social conditioning, allowing them to break away from systems based in control and fear. As your tiger spirit rises, you excite and empower the tiger spirit in others to rise above conditioning as they discover the wild divine spirit being they are in truth. Holy moly, you guys. It's so crazy because once I mention some sort of heteronormative um, conformity, confinement, it just kept, it was like reverberating in my head. Like I just kept hearing it because I guess it's a really, that's really potent. That's a really big part of whatever someone is going through here. And so thus, this card is, it, I mean, social conditioning. Let me see, let me read that again. Let me read that again. Your spirit creates a field of divine electricity through your body and mind that can liberate others from conformity and social conditioning, allowing them to break away from systems based in control and fear. Boop. <laughs> there you go, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, yeah. 
yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Much love to you. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.